Hello everybody, this is a continuation of Modded Blaster of the Month, Part 1. Um, if you guys would like to see your builds put in, please do so and send them into the email at the link in the description down below, um, or just post them in the comments and I'll have a look at them. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again. I could probably use some full-length darts, but I'm not interested in that, so I just converted it completely to a... Uh, short dart only sleeper breach. Yeah. Which also allowed me to make another change to the front of the bolt area and the actually the breach area, which is in a normal sleeper breach, you only have about two, maybe three millimeters of of um <clears throat> overlap between the seventeen thirty seconds and the nine sixteenths. It's a good enough seal but... and it'll do really fine, but it's not a it's not a great seal. Yeah. Um it will do it will do really well if you if you're very careful with your brass, you'll probably still get a really good almost hundred, if not a hundred percent seal. But what I ended up doing here, since it's only a half dart, is I moved the barrel back to the beginning of a worker dart. Oh sorry, worker magazine. So it's pulled back instead of an overlap of two to three millimeters, it's closer to like twelve millimeter overlap. Then that'll make a much better seal. Exactly. So yeah. it's a much better seal. It pulls the dart back further. So we're reducing even more space into the system. Um, and then the barrel itself uh, is a unique barrel at this point, because not only is it 17, 30 seconds brass, but at the end of it, built into the barrel itself, is a uh, 1 in 12 twist Merlin, which is a rifling system. Okay. So the end of the brass is, is rifled. So you don't need a scar barrel on the end then? Right, exactly. So it's all one piece in this specific case. I have an older system, I have an older barrel that will take adapters, but I the one that I currently have in there right now is just one solid piece of smooth bore to about three inches of twist at the end of that barrel. Um, and then the rest of the shell is reinforced with fiberglass in the important parts, like in front of the plunger tube, around the gate, just to keep it all solid. Um, the brass is protected in, uh, depending on which one, which barrel I'm using, either um, 316L aluminum, which is three quarter inch, and or uh, three quarter inch 60, 6061 aluminum. So. It's well protected brass at that point. Yeah, brass um, is quite malleable, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So to protect the brass and to protect anybody else that I'm playing with, obviously. Um, so that's, I think that's the powertrain, if I were to think of it that way, of the blaster itself and what I'm currently using. Yep. Um, if would you do anything different if you could do it again? <clears throat> Um, I will probably be doing it again, and what I'm already thinking of doing is expanding that plunger tube even more, um, yeah. and maybe changing something in the bolt that uh, I don't think I've I've seen quite yet. Really want to reduce the dead space in that bolt even more, but in a different way than what I've done and what others have done. I really want to try to see if I can change the way that system works, really keep it optimized for half darts. Um, I already have the tubing that I want to use, which is uh, 40 mil plunger tube. So even bigger than what I currently am using in there right now. The spring load that I have in there is about 21 kilograms. Wow. It's a 18.5 turf spring plus a stock 2.5 spring of some kind. I think it's a Busby spring. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching, um, please like and subscribe, Say go and look at OC Nerf's channel if you haven't already, and uh, please send in your builds, I would love to see some for the next Nerf Blaster of the Month, well, Modded Blaster of the Month, Nerf Blaster of the Month, we also need a blaster for that, so you guys send in your favourite stock blaster name, and I'll see what I can do, see ya!